Uh, thank you, everyone. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land and their elders past and present, uh, and as well as the elders here today. Uh, can I acknowledge, uh, without going through everyone though, the uh, distinguished guests we have here today, our staff, volunteers and our community reps, but I'd specifically like to acknowledge uh, the Minister and uh, the Director General. Minister, you have been out to South Western on a number of occasions. We've run our video over the last couple of, uh, couple of over the last hour and you, you are well represented, uh, but I also think it's reflective of your involvement out with the community. So thank you so much. And to the Director General, it's really great, Mary, to have you here with us today. Today, so thank you. Uh, before I open and more formally go through the, our achievements this year, and there have been a lot and, and a number have been covered already, but I'd like to highlight a number of things. I really do want to take the opportunity to acknowledge uh, the work that was done for the Open Day for Campbelltown. And I know Phil has just talked about it. But look, I uh, came in the back uh, because I was looking around for a park, uh, could I just tell everyone? And as I came down the stairs to the, uh, to the foyer, the absolute feel of enthusiasm as you walked down was really palpable. You know, um, not only with the community, but it was just absolutely wonderful to see the smiling, enthusiastic staff and the amount of time and effort and detail that went in by not only the management group but the staff generally, really I want to say uh, a sincere thank you. It really was fantastic. We wanted to combine the open day with the public meeting out here because we thought it would really add to the opportunity for the community to come and have a look. And seriously, it was great. But I need to say to you, I did hear on the grapevine, the aim was to look at the video from Bankstown, Chris, uh, and to see whether we could do a better job. Don't know whether, it, I, I can't say whether it was better or, better or worse, but it was fantastic. So for all of you, uh, uh, congratulations, it really was fantastic and a great, uh, a great uh, a message to the community about your commitment to healthcare out here. So well done. <laughs> there has been much achieved, I think, in South West over the last 12 months and it has been a challenge. I think uh, John has very much reflected that uh, we worked very hard in terms of dividing up uh, the health service and there was a lot of work involved with doing that and Mary I just want to take uh, the opportunity to say thank you to the Ministry as John has alluded to in terms of the support. Uh, health is very good at amalgamating, we're not uh, as experienced at uh, pulling services apart but with a lot of effort and goodwill uh, that's been achieved and I think things have now been very well established. In the last 12 months though we have done a lot of work in terms of establishing our clinical and our corporate governance structures and they're well bedded down now, always opportunities for better refinement and review view but we are well in place going into the future. Phil has alluded to a lot of work that we've done in the last 12 months on our strategic plan and I just want to take the opportunity, it's not finalised at this point, but uh, planning took I think a very important step in actually doing a lot of consultation with our community networks in the preparation of the original work that was done. So there was a lot of work done on the data collection, looking at issues around uh, health burden and disease, but we actually also consulted with each of the networks in the facilities. And why was that important? Often when you hear about community consultation, we at times do it at the end of the exercise. What we did here was we actually went to our networks and said, what do you think are the key issues now? What should we involve in, that, in, in our plan? And what should we take out to the community and talk to them about? And I think that was a really valuable and important process. And David uh, Lawrence is with us today. And David, thank you uh, for the work that was done. It is a weighty document. I wasn't at the last board meeting. I do believe one of the members said it's about 350 pages. And yes, it is. Why? Because this document is not only about our strategic strategic direction at a corporate level but it also looks at our clinical services and where we're going to take our clinical services over the next 10 years and that it has involved a lot of consultation with our clinicians so it is a weighty document but it's an important one that sets a critical foundation for us going forward. In the next couple of months we will actually take that document, I, I would trust in a more consolidated way, out to the community to actually really seek uh, broad community consultation around some of those key priorities and so I thank everyone who has been involved in that fairly detailed and lengthy process over the last year. 
Uh, the other thing that I do need to acknowledge is that Southwestern deals with significant challenges in terms of demand. Uh, the growth out in Southwestern is, 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 is great and as uh, Phil alluded to in his speech, we will look at p potentially a million people out here by 2021. But our capacity to meet the needs of the community out here come from the commitment of the staff, our clinicians and also the work we do with our community and I thank them for that. Capital Works remains for us a major focus and we see that very visibly here at Campbelltown today. Uh, but over the last year uh, at Liverpool Hospital uh, a lot of work has now been completed on the redevelopment and for those who have taken an opportunity to go and look uh, at Liverpool Hospital, it is a fantastic hospital and you only need to speak to the community in terms of hearing how proud they are. Um, Anthony, your team has done a great job in terms of that transition from the old into the new hospital. Always a very difficult process to transition a tertiary level hospital, keep services operating and maintain that in terms of, of service delivery and Anthony you and your team have done a great job uh, in, the, uh, in the last 12 months to do that and uh, you should take great pride in that. We've seen the expansion of the Cancer Therapy Centre and also the Chemotherapy Day Centre that's been developed uh, and opened over the last year. Probably the exciting one that we heard in terms of capital works this year has been Campbelltown, the government's commitment to $139 million for that project. And we see what's in place now, all the early works happening uh, around us. Um, and I want to acknowledge that for the community, um, Capital Works in any big site is never easy um, and so there's lots of communication that needs to occur, changes that need to happen and there was some very good lesson, I know that you involved a lot of the community in those early discussions uh, around how we would work with the community around critical things like car parking. Uh, and whether you like it or not, being able to get a car park and actually being able to get in and see you know, relatives who are sick in hospital is, is really important. And my really strong understanding is that strategy has worked well with the community because we've involved them from the ground up. The early works are progressing well uh, and we will see with that 139 million uh, the new acute building. And uh, I do need to take the opportunity to say the 3D um, health infrastructures development of the 3D uh, uh, vision for us was absolutely fantastic. I didn't know whether we'd have it today, but thank you so much. Uh, look, I was with a couple of people and staff who were in the cafeteria uh, just before I came up who said, listen, have you seen this new great 3D? You know, I can have a look at you know, what the, what, what the uh, facility is going to look at. It makes it very real, very, very um, real. It's very realistic for, for, for people who don't have a very spatial view, i.e. me. Uh, so it was a it's a, been a fantastic development and gives people a real view about how it's going to look. So thank you so much for that. Uh, but that uh, that's due for completion in 2016. We will see a new acute building, 20 uh, rather 90 uh, new inpatient beds, expanded emergency department, maternity services, and uh, and a uh, cardiac um, catheterisation uh, lab. So that's really fantastic. And so I hope everyone takes the opportunity to have a look uh, in, in the 3D because it really is fantastic. This year also saw the opening of the Inghams Institute. Our relationship with Inghams has a long history, uh, probably between uh, over 10 to 15 years. The realisation and the uh, opening of that building was an absolute fantastic opportunity to be involved with. Uh, it's always really important though when we have uh, openings like the Inghams Institute to not lose sight of what the principle is. The principle is, is that we will work very closely with Inghams in terms of the development of research which is such a fundamental part of our business but also what the Inghams building does is give us the opportunity to actually pull our researchers together in one area, be able to really consolidate our skills, our resources and our capability around research to go forward. And I just want to acknowledge the board of Inghams who have been uh, unrelenting in their, d in their uh, want to get the very best for Inghams but also for South Western and we need to acknowledge the work that's gone on over the last uh, a long period of time to actually uh, realise that. So I think from our point of view it also fits really nicely with the completion of our research plan uh, which was done in a, in a very, again, a very collaborative way and gives us a lovely footprint in, in terms of going forward over the next five years uh, with research. Uh, a couple of other things in terms of capital works, at Bankstown Hospital we saw the installation of two state-of-the-art spec CT scanners 
And uh, Barrow and District Hospital also saw some expansion with their emergency department with about $450,000 of COAG money. So as you can see from that, uh, Capital Works remains an important part of the development of South Western and these projects continue. And uh, I trust in the uh, new year we will actually see our education centre. And I know our director, our, our local um, health district director of nursing will uh, look forward to that, Kung. Um, the other, moving on from Capital Works, a very important uh, strategy that we put in place this year was about the rollout of the Respecting the Difference training for all of our staff. Uh, to date, we've trained on the e-learning project on the e-learning package about 3,000 of our staff, and we've got the next rollout to come. We've appointed our project officer, who will actually start the face-to-face -face work. It's very important we understand the purpose of that. The purpose of that is about cultural change in the organisation, about understanding the needs and the issues of our Indigenous community and how we develop our health, our health services into the future in collaboration with them. And I think already we're starting to see some impact of that. I can't uh, 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 give my uh, talk today without acknowledging uh, the issue of NEAT and our need to uh, uh, perform uh, as, as best we can uh, to that to target. Uh, a lot of work has been done this year in terms of that performance uh, to that KPI, but I do need to reinforce to everyone, KPIs are very much about patient care and safety. The length of time people spend in our emergency departments, that's what that KPI is about. And our clinicians, and I know all our staff have worked very hard to improve our performance in that regard. Uh, you'll also have heard uh, in uh, Phil's speech about our, uh, our first cohort of new graduates. I can't go also this year without acknowledging that. And it is really wonderful today that we're going to hear from one of those uh, new graduates. And uh, you'll really get an insight into what being, uh, what's it like to be a new graduate at, uh, at Campbelltown Hospital. In terms of new services, I could be here for quite a lengthy period of time to tell you a whole new range of things that developed that has been developed over the last year, but just a few to give you a bit of a smattering of the, of the services that have developed. The Heart Smart for Women project, uh, we opened a new breast screen clinic in Campbelltown, which uh, has been uh, fantastic for the development of services there. The Beat It Plus program, the MacArthur Dementia Daycare Centre, which was uh, uh, implemented with some Commonwealth money, again, which has been fantastic, and the first residential transitional aged care service. All is just a few of the, of the significant services that have developed in South Western over the last year. Uh, finally, uh, before I conclude, I just want to take the opportunity to uh, recognise firstly uh, the work of the media unit uh, who uh, pulled together with uh, Campbelltown Hospital and obviously the open day in terms of preparing for uh, the public meeting. Uh, as someone said earlier on, it's always in the detail and that's very true. Uh, and I thank everyone for their work uh, in terms of preparation today. Uh, Southwestern Sydney is a place of innovation. But I also want to say it's a place of significant uh, motivation, enthusiasm, and people have a passion for working out here. Many people have worked out here for many years and have invested a lot of their working life in the development of health care. And I want to acknowledge those people on a day-to-day -day basis, clinicians, uh, our allied health staff, our medical, nursing, corporate services staff, who work on a daily basis to deliver what I consider to be uh, you know, significant and high quality healthcare services. And they do that because they're committed and they do it because they have a passion for good quality healthcare. And I think that's what we believe in out here. Thank you.